you know they're just ready to nut up and, and hurl a controller and, and just and you, I start laughing and then they start laughing to get a better mood and they think twice about you know smashing another one of my controllers. My friend Chris over to his house, my God. And I go, what the hell happened? And the PlayStation went upside down, literally against the wall. There'd be a huge hole by the front door and the wall. Like, what the hell did you do? You know, we were playing Mortal Kombat like last night. James, you know, fucking uh, insulted me, went off. And that, that shit doesn't go down. I, I, I went off on him. I told, you know, I said, now you get a break. Now you get a hole you're going to fix your wall. So. Yeah. Throwing controllers and flipping over uh, expensive to me. Uh, console systems wouldn't fly in my house whatsoever. I am very sensitive about my equipment and making sure that uh, everything stays uh, exactly as, as new as it can be so I can make it last a long time because uh, $50 for a controller is a lot of money for me so uh, I definitely take care of my stuff too. PC gaming now quite often, that's fine. But I miss those friends and I miss those times of real multiplayer fun on the couch. To me the couch is still king. For really interactive gaming. I mean, I don't get overly excited about the new Battlefield 4. The couch is king. I don't know. That's like saying um, the cell phone is uh, not not as a great a thing as it. it's not even better than the uh, original telephone. Um, online multiplayer, I think. You just haven't experienced maybe the the thrill that online multiplayer can be. Uh, you mentioned in here at one point about how you don't the the public lobbies and stuff like that that uh, that are just not very desirable to be in because of the kids in there and ranting and raving. I rarely go into public lobbies. I've got a group of friends that we love to race and people that are in there. They're serious about racing and we have some of the most absolute fun, the kind of fun that you're talking about in this video with multiplayer, we're having with friends over Xbox Live. Um, good friends that I've made uh, such good relationships with that uh, I've actually gone to see uh, one of them and visit with them over, over a long weekend uh, at a real NASCAR race. So um, I think you're missing the boat on the online multiplayer because um, there can be the experiences that you're talking about without actually sitting beside somebody on a couch and uh, I think you really ought to take a chance to uh, get to experience that and you had mentioned in one of your comments about maybe playing some Forza 4 with me and, and doing some online multiplayer. Uh, I play in leagues where uh, we have standings and we have uh, league races. I, I race Forza on Thursday nights and I race a NASCAR league on Friday nights and we got websites and we got forums all set up for them and it's it's pretty serious stuff and it's it's not like just showing up in a public lobby and saying hey I want to play and having to deal with whoever's there. You're in a group with a group of people that want to play, want to be there, and want to have the best experience possible. And that is uh, by far, if you haven't realized that, by far different from just showing up to a public lobby and trying to find a race or trying to find a game in, in a uh, FPS or something like that that is of a decent quality, let's say. To me, I like to stay focused on game. That's why I love single player games. That's why I like having a friend or my nephew or someone over on the couch and playing a game. You interact, you can share a smile, you can share a soda or a beer or a steak, chips and salsa, whatever it is, and have a great time. To me, that's the hallmark of the real multiplayer uh, that's just missing today. Once again, um, you know, I'll sit down and, and be on Xbox Live. You don't have that guy sitting beside you, but you still sit down and we're like, you know, hey, we're having a beer, we're sitting there and doing our gaming and, uh, you know, it's, admittedly at first when I started on the Xbox in uh, 08, I, I kind of felt the same way about online multiplayer. I'm like, you know, they're, they're trying to get you to this state where everybody's in their own little cubicle like at work, you know, you've got these huge corporations where everybody's in this cubicle and they're all doing their own thing and they all communicate via email or whatever, but nobody ever sees each other. They're trying to do that with gaming and Xbox Live and, and I don't like that and 
And that's kind of the way I felt when, when I first started doing it. But once you start making a few friends and, and find some people that are serious about gaming, like you're serious about gaming, and want to do it over Xbox Live, I think it's a completely different experience than uh, what you think it may be. Old days, old times, and uh, talking about uh, their lives. I mean, the, the gaming system was almost like a campfire to a caveman in the old days. That's how I kind of look back on it. So I just want to add this little rant, kind of talking about... It can be that campfire, Dean. Uh, <laughs> what I think you ought to do is uh, get a hold of some of the people that uh, watch your videos on a regular basis. I'm sure you know a lot of them. you got you got your friends and stuff like that. And uh, get on Xbox Live and uh, experience some of that multiplayer with uh, people that uh, you know and uh, some of the people like me that watch your videos and say, Hey, uh, wouldn't it be great if we could all get together some night on Xbox and uh, play Forza Horizon or something like that? and uh, just get everybody together and say, you know, help you kind of maybe experience what it uh, may be like to get into a uh, racing group or something like that that uh, will show you that online multiplayer that hopefully can give you that experience uh, that you have with uh, sitting beside somebody uh, beside the couch rather than uh, halfway across the country. So uh, at the end of this video, I'll uh, put a couple of the uh, website links uh, for my racing leagues that I race in and you kind of see how that kind of stuff is organized and how involved it can be and uh, Hopefully you check those out and uh, it piques your interest uh, Once again, love your videos and it's a great day to, for America